Hi, and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the HJC F70 helmet. It's their entry level to mid level sports helmet, and it costs $229.99 in plain colours or $269.99 in graphics like this one here. The F70 runs a fiberglass shell. HJC call it an advanced fiberglass shell, but they haven't told us what's advanced about it, so let's just call it fiberglass. Contributes to an actual weight, we've weighed it ourselves, at 1,490 grams. The shell is an all new design and it marks quite a departure for HJC in terms of their sports helmets. Much more sleek and much more futuristic in its styling. I'd say it's designed to complement bikes like Yamaha's MT-07 and MT-09 and MT-10, those kind of cartoony style bikes with a big back wing visor at the front with this scallop around the front that works with the chin bar. So around the front of the helmet, there are two chin vents. One here is a simple slide vent that opens and allows air to flow through and give you cooling air around your mouth. And this one above it is a pivoting vent that allows air to come up onto the inner surface of the visor to help keep it clear of mist. Doesn't have to do too much of the lifting though because this visor is pinlock protected, comes with the insert in the box and it's pinlock max vision so you get as broad field of vision as you can get from any pinlock protected visor. One big departure for this helmet that surrounds the visor is the fact that it's not quick release. HJC have gone back to a time when we needed tools to take our visors off and we need a screwdriver. Removing this screw here is the way to get the visor off and behind it on the other side of the visor sits a little collar. Every time I've taken this visor off that collar has fallen out. So I wouldn't want to be changing this visor too often and I definitely wouldn't want to be changing it while I'm on a journey because I would expect that collar to be falling down and me scrambling around a lay-by trying to pick it out of some gravel. Thankfully it's got an internal sun visor so it's not one where we need to be switching between clear and dark visors all the time. That sun visor operates on a switch on the base of the helmet just here, a slide switch, which for me is the most convenient place to have it. You know where it is and it's really obvious how it works. Sometimes having them on the top is a bit of a reach. And once it's in its fully lowered position, the sun visor reaches down pretty much all the way to this expanded breath guard that HJC have fitted to the F70. They call it a breath box, but really it's just a massive breath guard that takes up all of the available space up to the sun visor. So once you've dropped the visor down, kind of behind there it looks like a black visor anyway, so you get that futuristic fully enclosed look. So again, it helps with the feeling that you don't need to change the visor very often on this, which is personally would be quite a relief. One of the other main focuses is on ventilation. So as well as those chin vents down the bottom there, we've got two vents on the top which are operated by quite strong slide switches. That will be a relief to people who are used to the little thumb wheels that HJC fit on some of their sporty helmets. They're a bit fiddly and a little bit prone to damage. No such issues with these. These slide really easily but firmly. Not going to come undone unnecessarily and can't see many issues with that. Get a good flow of air through there and it works in conjunction with the exhaust vent. The exhaust vent's permanently open. Not a lot of point introducing too much cooling air if the warm air can't get out and that exhaust vent is designed to extract it. Within the polystyrene lining, there are plenty of channels for the air that flows in the front to go through and out the back. Another addition on the F70, which we're gonna see with more HJCs on an ongoing basis, is integration for their new smart intercom system. Removing this panel at the back of the neck roll reveals a slot for the power unit for the smart intercom which slots in there. Add a control unit and then some speakers. There are recesses in the EPS to make that more comfortable and you've got a dedicated unit that's designed to work with the helmet. As well as all the new stuff and the changes, there's the usual stuff that you would expect. Double D-ring strap fastener which is what you would expect on a sporty helmet of this kind of money rather than a quick release one. You've got removable lining, fully removable, it's easy to do, and that's also antibacterial and it's got moisture wicking properties to keep it nice and dry. Chin curtain here to reduce wind noise. And what we've found from early customer reviews with this helmet is that people find it nice and quiet. They praise the build quality, 
My experience of a couple of hundred miles on the road would sort of fit with that. I didn't find it particularly noisy and it is quite comfortable. And I'd say that HJC's work in the wind tunnel has definitely paid off. I hope that covers everything you wanted to know about the HJC F70. But if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can with an answer. Thanks for watching.